Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in NX. In this tutorial, we are going to model this machine component using NX. While modeling any component in NX, first do the add material feature, then go for the remove material feature. Here I am going to do uh, first add material feature, then a remove material feature. Go to the NX. So this is the component I have created. The same component we are going to recreate it using NX. These are the steps I have followed to create this component. Now we'll learn how to uh, do this component step by step using NX. For that, first go to the file, new. Here choose model. Our units are in millimeter, choose millimeter. Specify the file name, specify the location, then save OK. Now go to the model. This is our model. For easy drawing, just keeping like this. First, we'll start with this plate having a length of uh, some, having a height of 75 and a width of 125. Go to the sketch for the same orientation. I'm taking the right plane, save OK. Take the rectangle, corner rectangle. Just start from here and create it here. Press the roller to confirm. Now, the height is 75. Do you want to scale the entire sketch? Yes, press the roller to confirm. And width is 125. Press the roller to confirm. Now still it is not fully con uh, constrained. For that go to here. Symmetric. This point. This point. And this axis. Save OK. Now you can see the sketch is fully defined. Now right click and finish the sketch. Go to the extrude. Make it symmetric here. The thickness of the plate is 12 mm. Enter the value of 12. Save OK. Just hide the sketch. Now we have created this this plate then we'll create this feature for that <coughs> go to the sketch just just rotate it here select the surface save ok now take a circle first take a line first create the center line we'll create a center line press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm just enlarge this line Specify the height and make this as a construction line. Now we have created this axis. Then what we'll do? We'll go for creating a circle. The circle diameter here you can see the external diameter of the cylinder is 40. Just enter the value of 40. Press the roller to confirm. And the center point is the distance of 130 from the center distance. So for that the center point this is coming downside for that we need to add more 6 mm so from center point to this is 130 plus 6 this is the total height here you can see here they have taken from the center to center distance is 130 here we don't have any line in the center so we have created from the bottom so the distance is 136 then just create a tangent line simply from here to here on tangent line, press the roller to confirm. Press the roller to confirm. Again, press the roller to confirm. Then we just close the sketch from here to here. Press the roller to confirm. Again, press the roller to confirm. Go for the trim. Just trim this unwanted edge. Press the roller to confirm. Now just go for a finish sketch. Extrude. This should be extruded in the opposite direction. Just change the direction. Here the thickness of this plate is 10 mm. Just say OK. See here we have created this feature also. Here you can see the cylinder is little more higher. Now we have created the cylinder of 10 mm. Uh, remaining 6 mm we need to create. For that go to the sketch again. Select the surface. Say OK. Take a circle, same center point we have, and just create a circle. Press the roller to confirm. Just go for the extrude. Extrude with the thickness of 6 mm. Totally 16 mm. 10 mm already we have created, now it will be 16 mm. Then we will create this cylinder feature. 
for that go to the sketch again take the front plane as a mid plane save ok just take a circle just create one circle the diameter of the circle is 62 here you can see and the center distance is from the top of the surface to the center distance is 75 the diameter is 62 say yes from the center to the stop distance is 75 now, now just go for finish sketch extrude total extrusion length is also be make it symmetric 62 say ok now everything is done then we will create this feature the support plate go to the sketch again choose the right plane say ok take a uh, continuous line from here to here from here to here and close the line press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm this distance is specified it as 95 say yes and make it symmetric just control is it 95 say no and make it symmetric make it symmetric and with this height just click it here this height is here you can see from the center point to the stop edge is 75 this minus the 31 the radius you will get the value 75 minus 31 similarly here also this is to make it a symmetric line this is to make it 47 then we just take one more line make it little more higher just close the line press the roller to confirm again press the roller again. especially this distance is some 15 now go for the trim just trim this edge now see we have created this sketch then go for the finish sketch extrude here we need to extrude into both the direction symmetric value here unite thickness is 12 mm say ok just hide the sketch now we have created this feature also then go for the unite this feature has to be united with this feature say ok now we have done we have created this feature then we will create a this rib for that go to the sketch again just choose this front plane say ok take a line somewhere here just connect this line is tangent to this press the roller to confirm now from this line to here you can see the center point this line to center point is 130 you just want to minus the 20 130 minus 20 this is the distance just go for the finish sketch rib see here rib is creating properly the thickness of the rib is 12 mm say ok similarly we just want to create a rib here for that go to the sketch again same this front plane say ok take a line tangent line somewhere here from this point to this top ridge is 35 say ok finish sketch go for the rib 12 mm is the thickness say ok now we have created both the ribs then we will create these two holes for that take a circle select the surface say ok take this circle 1 
similarly one more circle here yes it has to be created in the same line is both the circle are same dimension and from the center point to the center point and we need to create one more line this is the center line 75 make it construction line then this this center point to this center point has to be symmetric to this this line then specify this diameter as here you can see two holes a diameter of 20 and the center distance has to be defined the center distance is 62 it's not symmetric just make symmetric again go here this point and this point this axis save ok let's go for the finish sketch extrude change the direction here make it uh, subtract until next save ok now we have created these two holes then we will create this round using a edge blend choose this edge as well as this edge the diameter the radius of this edge is 20 specify the value of 20 save ok then we just want to create two holes here and there for that take the standard hole move your cursor to the edge of the circle you will get the hole at the center of the circle the diameter of the first hole is 40 just apply it and here we just want to create one more hole the diameter of this hole is 28 just move cursor to the center of the circle just say ok just right click here orient view isometric just have a look the component with the same orientation is there any feature are missing now we have made all the features in that we have finished this component i hope you like this video if you like this video please share to your friends for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you